Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Hooked in Loop. If you have still not subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and for getting updates of new videos, then please click the bell icon. I will show you how to do this uh, star uh, stitch or jasmine stitch uh, pouch which I have used for storing my crochet hook or you can also make it as a phone case. I have chosen the color theme uh, since the pride month is around the corner. I have used an acrylic yarn and a hook of size 3 mm and uh, firstly I made a slip knot and then insert a hook in it. We will be making 20 chains. Followed by a chain 1. In the second chain from the hook, I am going to do 2 single crochets. 1 single crochet each in the following 18 chains. In the last chain, we are going to do 3 single crochets. We are going on the other side of the chains and we are going to do 1 single crochet each in the remaining 19 chains. After doing the last single crochet in the first chain, okay, we are going to skip stitch into the first single crochet, okay, like this, followed by a chain 1. Then we are going to start the next round where we are going to do one single crochet each in the uh, following uh, in all the single crochets. Okay. We are going to close this down with a slip stitch into the first single crochet followed by a chain 1 and then again repeat. That is one single crochet each uh, in all the stitches. Complete this round with a slip stitch followed by chain 1 and then we will cut the yarn. So our base is ready. Now we are going to do the color change and start our jasmine stitch rows. <laughs> the yarn and make a slip stitch. Ok, insert the hook in it. And then we are going to slip stitch in any of the single crochet stitch. Ok, preferably at one uh, end I am doing the slip stitch. Now either you can do a uh, chain 1 after that but I haven't done. So let's begin. Pull your uh, hook, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, pull the yarn. Now with the other finger uh, press 
the or pinch the yarn like that and then with the hook the hook we will yarn over and pull it through the loop then insert your hook in the yarn which you had pinched okay now we are going to pull the purple colored yarn so that it uh, just uh, loops the tighter then we will pull the yarn through the first loop and then do a single crochet okay generally we do a, a chain one after that but since we are making the rows we are going to flip stitch in the third stitch from the first one okay that is in there will be a two stitch gap and slip stitch there again we have repeated pull your hook yarn over insert your hook in the stitch pull your yarn pinch the yarn with another finger then yarn over and pull it through the three loop insert your hook in the pinched portion of the yarn and then pull the yarn as i have shown to tighten the loop pull the yarn through the first loop and then do a single crochet okay again skip stitch in the third stitch leaving a two stitch gap we are going to make uh, such um, stitches throughout the round like this like this if you want you need to um, do a tutorial with uh, a jasmine stitch base only then please comment in the comment section i will do a tutorial on that too that will be set different okay so yarn over insert your hook in the stitch and pull the yarn through it pinch the yarn with another finger yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops insert your hook in the pinched portion of the yarn pull the yarn to tighten it and pull your yarn through the first loop to a single crochet okay and then slip stitch in the third stitch so we will quickly complete this round now after completing all the stitch slip stitch into the first uh, uh, stitch where you have started okay now we are going to start the next round so yarn over and insert your hook in the first stitch followed and by pulling the yarn pinch the yarn and uh, pull the yarn through the three loops insert your hook in the pinched portion of the yarn and then uh, pull the yarn to tighten the loops and then yarn over and pull the yarn through the first loop do a single crochet okay now do a chain one i'm showing you again how to do the first stitch of the row with a different color of yarn so first slip stitch the um, yarn to the any of the stitches followed by chain one okay and then you will do the stitch as shown followed by a single crochet and chain one now pull the hook okay yarn over insert it into the center of the single crochet pull the yarn through it yarn over insert your hook in the uh, stitch below where you have started it okay and yarn over twice there then again yarn over and yarn over twice in the following stitch okay 
pinch your yarn with another finger and pull the yarn through all the loops as well. Insert your hook in the pinched portion of the yarn. Pull the yarn to tighten the loop, uh, then pull your yarn through the for first loop and do a single crochet followed by chain 1. Similarly, the next stitch yarn over and insert your hook in the center of the single crochet and pull the yarn through it. Yarn over and insert in the single crochet stitch below and pull twice. Again, yarn over and pull twice through the following stitch. Pinch your yarn and pull your yarn through all the loops. Insert your uh, hook in the pinched portion of your yarn and pull the uh, yarn to tighten the loop. Pull your yarn through the first loop and do a single crochet. Have a five, chain one. Now I will show you how to do the last group. Of okay, yarn over, insert your hook and pull the yarn through the single crochet. Uh, and then again yarn over and pull twice through the single crochet below. Okay. Now don't pinch. Okay. We are going to pull the yarn through all the loops and then skip stitch in the first single crochet of this round followed by chain one and then I will cut the yarn okay so in this way we have completed all the colors now I will show you again with uh, all the steps with um, a cream colored yarn you can use this as a phone cozy or a hook container too. So now let's slip stitch the cream colored yarn through any of the single crochet of the previous round. Okay. I've chosen uh, at the corner. Okay. In, uh, then slip stitch followed by chain 1. yarn over insert your hook in the first single crochet where you have slip stitched pull the yarn through it pinch your yarn and pull the yarn through the three loops insert your hook in the pinched portion and pull the uh, yarn to tighten it and pull the loop through the first loop and then do a single crochet followed by chain one okay now pull a yarn a uh, loop yarn over insert it into the first uh, single crochet below yarn over insert it in the red single crochet below twice and then yarn over and insert twice through the following red single crochet okay then pinch your yarn and pull the yarn through all the loops And then insert your hook to the first uh, pinched portion of the yarn and pull a loop through it. Do a single crochet and then chain one. So we will continue doing the other stitches in the same way. Observe carefully.
now we are going to close this round pull your hook okay and then yarn over insert your hook in the single crochet and pull a yarn through again yarn over and uh, pull your yarn through the single crochet below twice okay like this and then yarn over and pull your uh, loop, uh, yarn through all the loops then slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round followed by chain one okay and then we are again going to begin the next row The jasmine stitch looks very beautiful with uh, generally single colored yarn, not with multicolor. As you can see, the design is looking very pretty with a cream colored one. So, monocolor will do justice to the stitch. Uh, Now we are going to do the last stitch, pull the yarn and insert it through the first single crochet and then again yarn over and pull it through the single crochet below twice. Okay. And then we will pull the yarn through all the loops and slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. So with this we complete our jasmine stitch pattern. You can leave it as it is if you want to make it as a phone cozy only but I wanted to make a pouch out of it. So now I am going to do chain 3. Which is the first double crochet of this round then do a double crochet in the same single crochet stitch. Followed by chain 2. For the gap where you are going to insert your uh, drawstring, 
and then again do two double crochet in the following a uh, single crochet stitch repeat it likewise that is two double crochet followed by chain two and then again two double crochet in the following single crochet stitch and complete this round After you complete this round, slip stitch in the third chain of the first chain 3 of this round. Okay, followed by chain 2. Uh, and we will begin the last round. This chain 2 is the first half double crochet of this round. Then in the uh, following double crochet stitch, we are going to do a half double crochet. And in the chain 2 gap, 2 half double crochets then in the following double crochet stitch we are going to do one half double crochet and in the next double crochet stitch again one half double crochet and in the following chain two gap i'm going to do two half double crochet so this is the pattern in each double crochet we are going to do one half double crochet and in each chain two gap two half double crochets we will complete this round soon okay so we will complete this round with a skip stitch in the second chain of the first chain two of this round followed by chain one and cut the yarn so our pouch is ready we will just insert our drawstring into it so i think it is looking very pretty especially the pride colors since i'm doing the tutorial uh, with the pride month theme okay insert your drawstring in this manner in alternate fashion we need two drawstrings i have already inserted one and i'm going to i'm inserting the another one and then after that tie a knot uh, at the end okay so our drawstring pouch is ready with the beautiful jasmine stitch and the bright colors in it i hope you liked this tutorial and it was easy to follow if you liked this tutorial then please hit the like button comment in the comment section please subscribe to my channel and have a great day thank you